2013, I took over as director, and one of my pet peeves coming up through the chain was our emergency operations center and lack of technology within the emergency operations center. Uh, we were unable to conduct uh, operations with the state directly because they were more digital than we were at the time, and we had lots and lots of limitations. What the room is built for is when we go into an emergency operations mode. And when we declare a state of emergency in the county, we have approximately 20 agencies that come in and have to set up remote offices within our emergency operations center. So we can have 20 laptops going at the same time, four or five different presentations going on at the same time, news briefs going on. And all of that was very complicated with the setup that we had. The, the digital capabilities, now we can we can do on one pc what we used to have to do in five different pcs during the design it was presented to us uh, by scenario capabilities on how to function the room uh, what we ended up deciding to do we have a ipad that will run the entire room so it's mobile it's not hardwired and it's very flexible application for us we're able to stay informed through monitoring devices that the the equipment that we have purchased provides us. We are constantly live fed so we know exactly the changing conditions of whatever emergency we're dealing with or being able to monitor an event that we're currently operating in in the county. And what that will do is give us 24 hour a day monitoring of all of our equipment. Every day they come into our system and they go through it all. Do not interrupt anything that we're doing. They check all the equipment throughout the whole room, our monitors, our computer system, Again, it's, it's about staying informed, it's about sharing the information, and it's about how to adjust if something were to, get, to happen. At the end of the day, when the product was delivered to us, it is extremely user-friendly. Uh, anybody can just walk in, use the touch pads, and pull their presentations up, or access the TVs, or, or anything within the room. It's very easy to use. Well, our relationship with Scenario right now is invaluable to us and where we're going to grow it down the road is just out of our emergency operations center has given us a lot of ideas for our, our communication center our dispatch center and our next big project that we're going to be working on is migrating to next generation 911 and with next generation 911 is going to come a lot of video capabilities that we currently don't have and we're probably going to rely on them a lot to guide us down the road on how to enable those video capabilities within our dispatch center. I think across the country, if other folks were aware of what we've done here uh, and with the value that we have increased our facility by, I think it would be a great opportunity for other EOCs or EMAs throughout the country to take a look and see what scenario has to offer.